Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the Hot Hustle Podcast with Hype. Y'all, I know it's been a minute. I, real life has happened. Life be life. And shout out to my man, Nutmeg Nah, Big Mish. Um, it's been a minute, but we're back in the, we're back in the situation. Episode 143, Hot Hustle Podcast with Hype. Y'all already know we appreciate y'all hitting the button. For those who are new to the program, welcome. Uh, we only accept five stars over here with the Hot Hustle Podcast with Hype, not four. Now, this is episode 143. Special guest in the building. Introduce yourself to the audience. Yo, what's going on, people? That my name is Tone the Promoter, man. And I'm also a part of a podcast called GNT Sports Talk. Copy that. We're gonna get into all of that once we get a little later on in the episode. As y'all know, when he gets to the what do we need to know segment, he'll let us know all about what we need to know. But we have an announcement off the top of the podcast to let y'all know about. I know if you're following at I am hype on Instagram and or Twitter or TikTok at I am hype uh, 23. You've seen this, you know this pod link, a pod, podcast. Link live show coming up August the 4th. Doors is at 2 30, 2245 Main Street, down South Philly, right around the corner from there. If you're watching the video on the E Block Radio Network every Monday at 2 o'clock on the E Block Radio Network, shout out to my guys. Um, and you'll see we down South Philly. Three o'clock is the show, is running from three to six. We starting with or without you. Please be on, on time. Get your tickets. We have the VIP tickets. It's going to cost you more at the door so you get your tickets now because the tickets are on deck. Hold up. I'm saying I got tickets for y'all as the camera tries to go down on us. Tickets are on deck and available right now. <laughs> okay. So we can get those tickets. We can get them to happen right now. Make sure you hit the link in my bio, though, if you don't want to get the physical tickets. If you want to hit the event right, we got those joints for you. VIP tickets are available. And if y'all got 10 people to your party, you should go VIP with your situation. We have you right there up in the front. We have you a nice plate of food with your situation. We got all that for you, y'all. Vendors, we still looking for a couple more vendors. Just hit us, let us know what you got. We can see if we can make that happen. Now, yeah. episode 143. Ah, this is something that we always hear in our community and our situations is what's understood don't need to be said. But is what's understood needed to be said? Talk to me, John. You know what? I think... Uh... I think it's. I think I'm gonna have to say yeah and no. You know what I mean? At the same right. time, go ahead and explain. You go ahead and explain. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> let me explain because you know sometimes you'll get into a situation where, like you said, we explain it so it's understood. But then you see some weird stuff going on. You know what I mean? In that situation where what was understood, you know what I mean? Sometimes don't fully be. So you might have to reiterate that thing. You know what I mean? To be like, listen, we had an understanding. We have agreement. What's going on? So I think in certain situations, you know what I mean, it, it, it may have to be brought up again. So here's why I think it needs to be understood. What it needs, the, certain things need to be said. If we were referencing something that's like your kids, you love your kids, but you never tell them you love them. Mm-hmm. Some of those things, like a, a little girl needs to hear that from her dad. A little boy needs to hear that from his dad. That teach them, teaches them the expression of not only the physical showing of your love, but that teaches them to be able to express their emotions with that love. Everybody loves to hear that type of thing. Everybody loves to get a positive affirmation type of thing from you. And if you listen to, like, you know how I feel about you. You know I care. And you never actually telling that person. And that's a bad joint. Because then that teaches a kid that when they grow up, that they do that to their kids. All of the stuff that we do to our kids, they're going to turn around and do it with their kids. Unless right. it's something that they feel like this was completely wrong and I'm going the total opposite because I didn't like when he or she did that to me. So things like that, I think, need to be said. Things like between you and your man, like I got people, like I'll text, text people sometimes just, I love you. Some of my cousins would be like, damn, well, what's going on? Are you feeling cool? Like, it's right, plenty, right. There's plenty of people that I wish I could tell I love them now that I can't. Mm-hmm. Like I wish I could tell my dad that, but I can't. I right. wish I could talk to my uncle, but I can't. So right. it's like while you have people there, let them know that. It's one thing I absolutely hate is I say this all the time on the podcast. Give that person their flowers while they can smell them. Don't yeah. just come snatching yeah. all my pictures off my page and we was the best of friends and man, that was my guy and he did this and he did that. And when you never expressed or showed me none of that. You never right. told me that you appreciated none of that that I did, or I never told you I appreciated whatever it was that you did. That's why right. I think some of these things need to be expressed. Now, obviously, we're doing some stuff we ain't supposed to be doing, and yeah, we are there. <laughs> but 
as far as certain aspects of these things, it's like we need to get that out there. We need to make it a, a we need to have it be a thing where it's cool to tell somebody you love them, like tell somebody how, just how you feel, express whatever it is with your kids, and stop being so damn hard for no reason type joke. Right. He, he said, even with like, you know what I mean? Like you saying, like with family members, you know what I mean? We we had we had a cookout or something or we would do whatever we had. Had a situation we peace out, we just like, all right, cuz, I holla at you. Like, no, it's all right, cuz I love you, man. You know what I mean? Because we tomorrow's not promised, man. We don't know what's going on. You know what I mean? Any situation, it's just like you said, you know, there's people in your life, man, that you wish that you can say, you know what I mean, whatever to. Not even just so much I love you. You know what I mean? And we take things for granted, you know what I mean? Uh you know what I mean? I, I I do. You know what I mean? Anybody. Hey, we all do it. I'm we all do. It. It's just you. Yeah. It's just, you know what I mean? A natural, you know, ability. Because I could just be like, yo, bro, I hit you up tomorrow. <laughs> we we don't know if we're going to be here tomorrow for real, bro. But you know what I mean? You say it and, and you stand on it. But I just do think, man, that uh, just like you said, we got to get into the habit of telling people you love them, man. You miss them. You know what I mean? Less than time. Because, you know, even when we get older, you know what I mean? Our adulthood, when we get with our families and everything, we lose all of that what we had with the homies and the cousins and all that back in the day when you grew up together and, you know what I mean, it was, it was, you spend the night over everybody's crib and, you know what I mean, as you get older, you grow apart. So, yeah, man, I, I agree with you on that. I said, the joint like that you hitting there is like once you get older, obviously, you know, everybody got kids, you got a business, you got a job, or whatever it is that you're doing. So I ain't going to be able to see you every damn day. But you do still need to be actively reaching out. One thing I hate that niggas is always telling you is like, oh, man, I was busy. And if anybody know, if you listen to this, then you know me. Then you know I got a million things going on and I'm doing them all by myself because I want to do them by myself. Not because like, people ain't asking, can they help type situation. It's just like I always tell niggas, I told you this, I'm a ball dominated guard. I got the ball at the top of the key. I'll call the plays. You just run them. I know you're good screen setter. I won't ever ask you to pop out and shoot no threes. I'm going to ask you to just set right. these screens. Right, but, right, right. Yeah, I think I think that uh, like we got to a point where it's just not cool to express certain emotions and certain things. Like, nigga won't tell his wife like that. I need you, and it's like, how do you not need your wife for your husband? Or like, how is that? How is that like uh, one of those things where like she know, he know, like we've been together for however long. Sometimes somebody just need, sometimes that might be just the one thing nigga needed to hear today. Like, mm -hmm. You come in from a hard day's work. Like I told you, I did it twelve hours in a bean yesterday. Right. And right. just to come, just to walk in the door, you aching everywhere because it's a bean. Mm -hmm. And my daughter run up to me, Daddy, I missed you. Damn, she don't know what that just does to you. Like, and yeah. Yeah. it ain't even always it ain't even always about a big long production. Sometimes like it might just be a text message. It might just be anything. It might just be anything to show that you love this person and not just say, well, you know how I feel. Like, right. Yeah, my uh, last, you know, I the, last week, um, my daughter graduated eighth grade, right? And uh, this was the first time she had uh, had an actual graduation, you know what I mean? Because uh, in kindergarten, she had scarlet fever, so, you know what I mean? She broke out with the rashes on her neck and the face. It was contagious. She couldn't go to school. Fifth grade, she was in, um, when, when she was in fifth grade, it was pandemic, you know what I mean? So everything was shut down with no graduations, nothing. So here comes eighth grade. She walks down the aisle, she gets to, you know what I mean, the, um, the graduation, obviously, over there. she was long waiting for. Her. And, uh, you know, took her out, did things with her, you know what I mean? And then I want to say, like, the day after the graduation, you know what I mean? She sent me a text and was just like, Dad, you know, you know, I appreciate everything that you do for us. Um, you know, like me, Tony, and um, my son, my son is named Anthony as well, but, um, you know, man, man. And, uh, you know, that just did something to me. That was just like, you know what I mean? She was just like, I appreciate, you know what I mean? Like like what you're doing for us, like what you teach us and, and pretty much like how you got us and preparing us for life as an adult. You know what I mean? And, and man, you talking about how that did something for you, you know what I mean? Your little girl coming in and telling you she loved you. I was just like, you know, when, when I leave here, man, that's that's all, you know, that's that's one thing I know, man. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, uh, I'm a family man as far as with my kids, man. And when I leave here, that's what I want to put a stamp on. You know what I mean? When I leave here, they can just look back and like, you know, dad, you know, he, he put us in the right position, he set us up, he told us about this, he warned us about that, you know what I mean? And and that 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 felt very good, you know what I mean, to hear that from my baby. All right, well, one, salute to you. Uh, salute to the baby girl for graduating, because, you know, I, <clears throat> fourth grade was the only graduation ceremony that I was at, summer school for 8th and 12th. <laughs> 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 so, salute to her for making that one happen. Um, right, right. 
one of the things I also like, I, let's let's normalize the positive dad situations because we get a bad rap, we get a bad name. Yeah. Out there. It's yeah. too many. It's too many dudes who holding it down, handling their responsibilities. You, you know, you don't get a pat on the back for taking care of your own kids, but that don't mean that you don't salute somebody for you know doing what you're supposed to do. But still, again. Even though you know that this is my kids and this is my responsibility, and I would die for these kids, mm-hmm. it's still good to always hear like, "Yo, man, you do your thing with them, you hold right. it down." Right. That's always the thing we need to. That's another thing that, like, again, understood need to be, but it needs to be said. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. when you see something somebody likes or something that somebody's doing, I'm a big let's shout that out. Let's promote that. Let's right. highlight that. Whether it's just, yo, know, he's there for his kids every day. He knows the teacher's names and not just first day of school, my baby going to eighth grade, right, my right, baby going right. to high school. But what's our room number? What's our teacher name? Right. They know you when you show up? <laughs> like, Are right. they looking at you like right. you're not on the list? Like, what's the situation? So, right. again, let's, it's understood, but we need to say salute to all the dads and the moms holding it down out there because I know some Moms that left the situation and now dad's holding it down, but you know, people don't like to talk about them joints. Right, <laughs> right, 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 right. Uh-huh, right. Uh, along the lines of what you was just saying, though, before we switch it up, mm-hmm. I sent my mom that text uh, a couple months ago. It was, I don't even remember what the hell was going on with the kids at the time, and it was like, I kind of get it now. <laughs> like, right. Thank you right. for doing yeah. all that you did. Uh, uh-huh. Again, can't tell my, can't tell my dad this because he ain't here no more. But right, right. thank you for doing what you did. Thank you for, you know, being who you was and who you, not was, who you are. Because, um, right. you know, as the, once you get on both sides of it, you like understand some of the things that they told you, some of the things that they showed you. Because a lesson at eight will come back when you're 38 and go like, damn, mm-hmm. that makes all the sense in the world when she right. used to say that. So, <laughs> you know, right. again, right. let's let's say those things. Let's put that positive Let's put that positive stuff out there. Like, I don't know why we bottling that up so that we can put it all under a post once I ain't here no more. Yeah, right. Um, right. All right, let's switch the subject. Switch it up now. We're gonna get to the get to know segment. Get to know is sponsored by Custom Hustle. That is at Custom Hustle World on Instagram. It's Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. If you know that's my clothing line, we do custom jerseys, jackets, sweatsuits, uh, collar shirts, sweat shorts, uh, you name it, we got it. We have now for those watching again on the eBlock Radio Network. We into the sunglasses now. Custom Hustle uh-huh. glasses are available. Okay, so you can make those purchases over there at Custom Hustle World. You know what I'm saying <laughs> Custom Hustle Co on Twitter. Today, what I got on my feet, I don't got on none of the sneaks, but the flip flops. The Custom Hustle flip flops are on deck as well. <laughs> like I said, I own the outfit. You name it, we got it over there. Football, basketball, baseball, hockey, and soccer jerseys are available to purchase now. So you get with me over there at Custom Hustle World on Instagram. Oh, also, ladies, we got something for y'all. We got the pocketbooks now for the ladies, available in all colors. If there's any color that you can think of, scheme of, or put together, we can make all of that happen. So you get with us. Also, the sneaks, my bad, too. Once CH1s, 2s, 3s, and 4s, all available at Custom Hustle World on Instagram, Custom Muscle Co. on Twitter. Now, get to know. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, full time hustler. I tell niggas that all the time. Okay. And wristbands, too, available with any purchase. You know what I'm saying? Let's Which go. color you like? We got the gray, we got the green, we got the blue, however you like them. Right. Um, <laughs> something that you was just touching on this is the get to know segment. And now, what's your proudest moment as a dad? Proudest moment as a dad. You know what? That, all right, so like I just told you, I got two daughters and a son. My son is autistic, non verbal, right? He's uh he's 12 years old right now. And I want to say, man, you know, since he was diagnosed at the age of two, so about let's just say 10, um, my man wouldn't wouldn't utter a word. You know what I mean? Uh but the hard work that he's been putting in for the last two years, like my my, my guy says, hi, bye, dad. You know what I mean? He know how to spell his name. You know what I mean? His name's Anthony, so he got a lot of late letters in his name. Oh, um, yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't, get, couldn't give him Bob or nothing easy? Damn. Yeah, like, no, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, right? So, you know what I mean? When when uh, his mom, she sent me the video. Well, not yeah, like a, a voice clip of him spelling his name, man. You know what I mean? You talk about, like, just, you know, what I've obviously went through with him from, you know, from the diagnosis to even today. You know what I mean? It's, it's, a, it's a hard process. You know what I mean? It ain't easy. And when I heard that, man, I was just like, you know what I mean? I was very, 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 very proud of him. You know what I mean? And for the people at his school also working with him, 
And you know, for us too, you know, me and his mom, you know, I mean, we work with him. You know, I mean, when he comes home, and, and uh, you know, I mean, just trying to get him back on me because one thing, man, him being nonverbal, what scares me is him when he leaves here. You know, what I mean, he's out on his everyday thing. Come back, he yeah, can't tell us. Trust you, know, you man. Trust in other people, yeah. Right, like it's like he can't tell me, you know, if something if somebody's mistreating him or they done him wrong, or whatever the case may be. But like I said, within these last two years, man, he's been he's been saying something, and, and I know, you know, what I'm saying, I know, in, in in God's time, my man gonna be talking. I mean, at least being able to form a, you know, some sentences to have conversations. So uh, I would have to say that, man. You know what I mean? Right, right now is the proudest, proudest dad moment. Um, I absolutely love your answer. We're going to put a pen in that. We're going to talk as soon as this episode is done because I All got right. something I'm working on and you just hit a nerve. That's why I'm trying not to react. <laughs> um, all right, all right, all right. I like we got it. something to talk about. Uh, we okay. call it a tease in the business. Now, <laughs> um, <All right. laughs> the next question, if we get to know, who's the GOAT? Joe, to me. Joe, all right, all right, all right. You know what? I'm going to say this. I you heard see the excitement. If y'all watching on the e block, you just see the excitement in his throat. He jumped up in his chair. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, because no, <laughs> you know what? Because I want to, for me personally, I want to just settle this. Like, I heard Van Gundy say probably the best answer, you know what I mean, and, as far as this goat to be. He was like, I think people might get caught up in like the like LeBron's achievements, you know what I'm saying, as far as like being the goat. He said he, he would say LeBron is probably the had the best career. You know I'm what sorry, I mean? Who? And, LeBron, 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 wait, wait, wait. LeBron. I'm sorry. We're talking the GOAT. The I'm greatest of all no, time. No, no, no. I'm, I, I, think I don't even know why you brought him up. I don't, I, don't, I don't. He's not even in this. I don't think he's even in this discussion. I don't know why you brought this guy up. That's why I said, look, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about uh, Joel's. You're giving out Joel's government, I thought. But, <laughs> okay, okay. So, so, all right. So, so, our, well, I like, I, Jordan is, is obviously my answer. But what I'm saying okay, is, Jordan, Jordan, Jordan is the best player. You know what I'm saying? Like the other play this game that I've ever seen, you know what I mean? Lace them up, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, just got that dog, that animal always wanted to win, you know what I mean? Jordan's my guy, you know what I mean? But as far as obviously overall collective body of work, with everything the board did and what he's still doing at this age, I, I can't, I can't knock that, you know what I mean? But he's, 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 he's a, you know what I mean? He in the top three. Let's just say that. You know, he in my top, top three. He's, he's, top he's top what? Three. Oh, okay. I, I got Bean. I got Bean as number two. Oh, okay. Uh, mm, this sounds like something we need to settle on the GNT. Yeah, we're going to bring you <laughs> on. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, because Kobe being Bryant, the greatest to ever do it. Okay. <laughs> in okay. my opinion. Uh, nobody's nobody's answer is ever wrong, except if you got LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> now, last one for get to know. Who is Tone's influence? My influence, man, is my children. My children, man, I do everything for them. Um, All right, wait, okay, so hold up. Let me. I don't even. I don't mean like who's your who is uh your inspiration. Okay, who is okay. your drive? Who is the person that you was like, damn, looking at what they did inspired me to want to do dot dot dot. And maybe a kid. The answer might still just be your kids, but no, 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 no. That you try to dive a little, try to go a little bit deeper for me. Let's get in the right, waters right. now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to... I would have to say, um, I would have to say my dad, man. You know what I mean? Uh, okay. Grew up, grew up with my dad. Uh, raised me. You know what I mean? So obviously, I went to the, uh, college. You know what I mean? Uh, got the career with the college, and I'm just holding down. You know what I mean? The family, the foundation. He taught me that family. You know what I mean? Was first, and uh, you take care of home, man. You know everything else uh, fall in line. So, um, I, I, I give it to my pop. You know what I mean? Influenced me to. You know what I mean? Want to be just a good a good man. You know what I mean? A good family man, good role model, good leader. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. Everything he showed me, I put that into my, my everyday life. See, this is what I wanted. Bring it full circle. Because, again, that was a thing that certain some people will understand. But you, let's say that. Let's throw that out there for him. Let's give him his flowers. Right. Um, now, we switch up the last segment of the show, which is... What do we need to know? What do we need to know is sponsored by H2H Cleaning. That is at H2H Cleaning on Instagram only. We doing roofing, plumbing, flooring, HVAC, cleanups, cleanouts. We need a tree trimmed. You need a tree cut, knocked down, remodeling. However you need it, we can make it happen over there at H2H Cleaning. Um, we're here to help, so just tell us how we can help. Now, Tone, what do we need to know? This is your time to shine. This is all about you, baby. You tell us what we need to know. What don't we know about that we need to know about? 
All right. Which, which, which you don't you know is obviously yeah, when I first started off the show, I said my name was Song the Promoter. So what I do is and what I have is a comedy slash poetry show that's every third Friday of the month. We just had our show, you know, I mean, last Friday, June 21st. It was off the hook. Uh, we, we got free wine down there. When we when, when we first sell tickets, they go on sale. So if y'all follow me on Instagram, I got the obviously ticket link in my bio. First follow you on Instagram where? Where are they following you on Instagram? You can follow me on Instagram at tone underscore the underscore promoter underscore. Here we go. You know what I mean? That's the, that's the Instagram handle. That's where y'all can find me at. That's where y'all can find the link at. First week of ticket sales, they be $10. $10, you come down and see the same show that once it starts on the date, it's $30 and more at the door. So, um, like I said, tone promoter, follow me uh, on Instagram. Uh, comedy show every third Friday of the month. They be lit. Ty gonna come out there next one. She's gonna be telling all y'all about it. So um that's what I got going on in that. GNT Sports Talk. So that's my podcast. Um started it about 11, 11 months ago. We rocking and rolling coming up on episode 50. We film once a week, every Wednesday at eight o'clock. And that Instagram handle is GNT Sports Talk. Uh y'all can follow me on there. We put up content. Uh, we just had a fighter who we actually from um we actually uh um, dang, when I was a sponsor last night, we sponsored him last night. He had this logo on his shorts. Um, he's, uh, his name is Juan DeJuan Marrero. Uh, he went 5 0 last night, five knockouts. Um, so he's a rising star from here in the city of Philadelphia. So, uh, we got that going on. Like I said, man, we on every Wednesday, eight o'clock. YouTube channel, subscribe to us, GNT Sports Talk, please. And, uh, that's it, man. That's it. That's all I got going on, you know, right now. And, you know, what I mean, uh, I'm just here to get it, man. Copy that. Also, don't forget you you didn't throw this out there. This is I'm yeah. jumping on you now. Pod link, a pod link live show podcast. Yeah, I'm gonna be a part of that. Show. I'm gonna be a part of that. Tone is on the panel. Tone, Mister Know It All, and my man Nutmeg Nile, <laughs> and me are on the panel for the guys. The girls will be Star, uh, Dana, Britt, and Sunny. Taya is the show curator. I don't know if we got that together on episode one. What was that? One eighty-two with Mister Know It All. We were trying to see if the curator, if she was a curator with a Q or was it the CH. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm um, the tickets is on sale now, y'all. We got the physical tickets. We got the Eventbrite. The posters will be up all around the city because the posters just landed the other day. So if you see the posters, hit that QR code and get those tickets now. The tickets start at twenty dollars. If you show up at the door, there will be more. And VIP tickets are available. Just hit somebody's DMs and ask about those. Also, with vendors, we're still looking for vendors so we can make all of that happen. August the 4th, doors are at 2.30. The show is over at 6.30, so be on time. Yes, yes. Uh, anything you want to say before we close that one out? Uh, show up, please, and buy them tickets. Like you said, they not everybody's bios, everybody link. $20 or $30 if you want the VIP. Come see us on that live, man. Copy that. Appreciate y'all hitting the button. This is episode 143. We are out. I am Hype. That's H-Y-M-P-E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up.